Samuel Lennox grew up to be part of a proud military legacy, beginning his military career by enlisting in the Imperial Navy Academy during the Galactic Empire's early years. Rising through the lower ranks of the Imperial Navy with an honourable approach to his fellow officers, he did not initially care for the political manoeuvring that was common with most of his fellow officers. However, in order to rise to the rank of captain, Lennox realised himself he would need to engage in deceit and political manoeuvring, and became a cunning tactician, earning his naval position through merit alone. He also was dedicated to his crew and his ship. Aware of the Empire's corruption, and dismayed by the lack of general moral principles, Lennox resigned himself to the Imperial cause when weighing up his hatred for the Rebel Alliance. By the year 1 BBY, Lennox was the captain of the Imperial Class 1 Star Destroyer, Tyrant, with Lieutenant Cavill as his first officer. During this period, the Galactic Civil War was in full swing, and Lennox commanded the Imperial Navy operations, leading a task force of 10 Star Destroyers inside the Bakuni Sector, which was often patrolled by the Empire in their efforts to quash the Rebel Alliance in that area. Prior to the Battle of Dakarna, the Empire identified a Rebel fleet orbiting the planet, and Lennox was ordered to engage the Rebel threat to the Sector. To confirm the Rebel fleet's presence at Dakarna, he sent TIE fighters ahead of his Imperial Task Force before emerging from hyperspace. Arriving close to the planet Dakarna, the Tyrant led the Imperial Task Force in an attempt to prevent the Rebels from escaping. Another experienced officer captaining the Star Destroyer Accuser, Firmus Piet supported the Tyrant's long-range attack on the Rebel cruisers but the standard Imperial tactics employed by Lennox to attack the engines of the Rebel cruisers using TIE fighter bombers with TIE fighters as a protection proved ineffective against the X-Wing fighters. Piet advised Lennox to change their tactics, but the Tyrant's captain persisted, resulting in heavy casualties. Piet ordered his forces to attack the X-Wings and salvage some of the situation, although heavy damage had already been dealt to two Star Destroyers, forcing Lennox to retreat into hyperspace and rendezvous at Bakuni. Firmus Piet later recommended Lennox's removal from leading the Bakuni Naval Task Force. In 3 ABY, Lennox continued to command the Tyrant, serving within Darth Vader's Death Squadron in the aftermath that followed the Battle of Yavin. Death Squadron was the personal battle group of Darth Vader, who was ruthlessly determined to hunt down the hidden Rebel HQ base. As part of an extensive effort to locate the Rebels, Death Squadron Star Destroyers had launched a large volume of Viper probe droids. When Death Squadron were alerted by a report from a probe droid inside the Hoth system, Darth Vader immediately ordered the fleet into hyperspace to that location. By the time Death Squadron had arrived at Hoth, the Rebels were alerted by the presence of the Imperial fleet and activated their energy shield over the system. Undeterred, Vader ordered a ground assault in order to destroy the shield generator. Positioned into a blockade formation of six Star Destroyers, the Tyrant moved into position to intercept the Rebels' GR-75 medium transports and their Starfighter escorts as they attempted to evacuate Rebel personnel from the surface. Watching from the Tyrant's bridge viewport, Captain Lennox was informed by First Officer Lieutenant Cabell that the Rebel transport, the Quantum Storm, escorted by T-65 X-Wing fighters, was approaching the Tyrant's position. Unaware, the Rebels were preparing to fire a large planetary ion cannon to allow the escorts to pass through the Imperial blockade. Lennox swiftly ordered the Tyrant to attack. However, the planetary ion blasts hit the Star Destroyer which initially caused power fluctuations before the ship shields and bridge controls were disabled. The Star Destroyer Accuser moved in to replace the gap in the Imperial blockade left by the Tyrant, although its crew managed to repair the ship systems before the end of the battle. While the battle on the surface of Hoth continued, Imperial troops captured the Rebel Alliance General Crix Maidin. The former Imperial defector was due to be sent to a prison on the planet Dathomir, but first the General was transported to the Tyrant. Unfortunately for Lennox, his Star Destroyer was hit for a second time by the Rebel Ion Cannon, disabling the part-repaired ship. This allowed the Rebels to rescue General Maidine from the Tyrant, and escaped using a Lamber Shuttle, heading for the Mon Calamari Cruiser Champion. With the Tyrant disabled for a second time, Lennox was unable to pursue the Shuttle while the Star Destroyer's repairs continued. Despite this, the Empire's ground assault was victorious and the Rebels were made to flee. Before the Rebel Cruiser Champion could jump to hyperspace, the Tyrant, now functional once again, prepared to attack launching TIE fighters. Lennox ordered the Rebels to hand Maydeen over to them, but the Champion launched its fighters. There was a short battle before the Champion escaped. A short while later in 3 ABY, Lennox was sitting inside his ready room aboard the Tyrant when he received stern orders from Darth Vader to go to the planet Bespin and remove a Jedi diplomat called Rache Sitra. 
who was attempting to undermine the Empire's negotiations on Cloud City, and Vader threatened Lennox that failure was not an option. Arriving at Cloud City upon the Bespin system, Lennox was accompanied by Imperial Stormtroopers who forced Citra off-world. Lennox then immediately reported his success to Vader, and dispersed any suspected rebel sympathisers from the lower levels of the city. Opposed to the Empire's presence, the city's administrator and rebel sympathiser, Lando Calrissian, had alerted its inhabitants to evacuate. Lennox was successful in ensuring the rebels were unable to rescue Han Solo, before being frozen in carbonite and handed over to the bounty hunter, Boba Fett. In 4 ABY, Lennox and his Star Destroyer Tyrant remained part of their squadron, which joined the Imperial fleet protecting the second Death Star until its destruction at Endor. In the immediate aftermath of the battle, Gilad Pelion ordered the remnants of the Imperial fleet, including the Tyrant, to retreat. While still serving the crumbling Galactic Empire towards the end of 7 ABY as the Tyrant's captain, Lennox and his Star Destroyer were captured by the New Republic, while attempting to defend an Imperial fueling outpost. The Tyrant was later renamed by Leia Organa as Rebel Dream, and was used in active service to fight for the New Republic for many years, including the Yuuzhan Vong War in 29 ABY. 